Ah, Ariel. I'm jacked. <laughs> How are you? I got to do a test uh, on. Oh my goodness, Dad Talk is in there. Oh my goodness, Dad Talk is watching me. I'm flattered, Eric. Hi, how are y'all? I am on top of the world. Hello, Sienna Price. Hello, Wave. Hello, Dannon and Wicca, my two of three of my, uh, or two of four of my Whomping Willows. Today, I'm going to be talking about my journey. Turn this down just a bit. My fitness journey. I just got back from the gym. I'm back in the Atlanta area. I'm staying with my friends, my guardian angel, and I just got back from the gym today. And my gym progress is going excellently, if I do say so myself. At age 46, I've done what most people refuse to do, what I refuse to do myself for the longest time. I made a change to my life because I was miserable. I owned my responsibility or owned my choices. I accepted responsibility for my own failures and my own screw ups, namely alcohol. I don't really think I need to go into a lot of detail there. And now I've pulled myself out and I keep getting uh, asked, what is my secret? And there is no magic pill. I'm not selling jack shit. No one's paying me to be here other than being monetized on YouTube. There's no secret drug that I take. There's no secret uh, performance enhancing drug, PED as they're called. I do not take any kind of testosterone, TRT, steroids, cocaine, meth, you name it, fentanyl. I don't take any of that shit. No kind of drugs. And the number one drug that I used to take that I no longer take, and yes, it is a drug, it is called fucking alcohol. And I added the F part for uh, emphasis on how prominent and disgusting the alcohol in industry in this country really is. It is absolutely everywhere. Everywhere. There's a reason your favorite celebrity uh, endorses their own flavored brand of it is because they are making money off making you sick. Yes, all alcohol is poisonous to all humans. There's no such thing as a safe alcohol, a healthy alcohol, a healthy amount of any kind of alcohol. Possible exceptions if you are a doctor in certain weird situations and being a fan of house are certain medical things that only a doctor is competent enough to prescribe in order to cure you for a very specific, very brief uh, part in your life. Outside of that, if there's any kind of health guru, guru that ever tries to lead you to believe that just drinking a little bit of tequila like Dwayne the Rock Johnson and you will get to be looking anywhere in the neighborhood like him, they are full of shit. All of them. Pick your favorite celebrity. I don't care how good their movie was or what good thing they've done. If they're pumping out the alcohol, they're pimps, they're bitches for big alcohol. There's a reason that alcohol is legal. It's because alcohol is the drug of choice of the politicians. Nothing that I can think of on earth besides the U.S. government war machine kills more people than fucking alcohol, which is why people like me who overcome that shit get asked in the gym by men much younger than myself what my secret is. And today, that is exactly what happened. I'm not going to give you details of this young man or identifying details other than to say this. I went in the gym today. As I do every single day for between 30 minutes and an hour. Typically is about 45 minutes. I went to the gym today and I saw this young man out of the corner of my eye because that's what people do. We all kind of watch each other. It's okay. There's nothing wrong with it. You just mind your own business and kind of watch other people instead of other people's way. That's what I do. I don't really talk to anybody unless I'm approached. And this young man approached me and I could tell he was staring at me and I felt weird because I don't, I'm, 
I don't particularly feel at home around big crowds like gyms. To me, that's a big crowd. When it gets full, I don't even like that. But he approached me. And he said, if you don't mind me asking, how old are you? And I could tell by the his demeanor that he's broken. He's hurting. It was so easy for me. It was just written all over his face. He was he was doing arms and legs and he was just all over. He was back and forth all over the gym, just doing everything. And I was just doing the same thing I always do. PPL, PPL, push, pull, legs. Day one, push, chest and triceps. Day two, pull, back and biceps. Day three, legs, repeat. That's all I do. I do absolutely nothing else. Well, exercise wise. And I told him that. Anyway, I told him I was 46. And uh, I could tell he, he, he just wanted to talk. And he, he wasn't aggressive. And he was being kind. And those are the type of people I seek. I look for those people. I want people like that to feel comfortable approaching me. Because I've entered into a new realm in my life. And it's hard to explain how it's actually, actually how very simple it is to get to where I'm at. I'm not here to brag, showing, look what I'm better than everybody else, because I'm not. I know I'm not. I do know that I look better than 99% of men my age. That's easy. I can just look around, simple observation, and I can tell that. However, I'm also not foolish enough to think that I'm the biggest and the baddest and the best at everything I do. That's not what I'm trying to say at all. There are loads of big, very strong, very smart, dedicated men, much more stronger than me, that would pulverize me in an instant if I were to actually get into some kind of you know physical confrontation with them. Maybe not an instant, but they I, I'm not saying that I'm all that. However, I am saying that what I have discovered works. It really works. Weights, sunlight, gallon of water a day, and absolutely zero alcohol. And this, it works. And in my opinion, that is exactly what this world needs. Much, much more of masculine men. That is in my opinion, that is the problem with this, not just this country, this world, is the lack of masculinity. What's happening today in this world, this, this is going to sound harsh, but this ultimately the buck stops with the masculine men of this world. And the reason what's happening is because men allowed it. Feminism, modern feminism, is so screwed up. It, it is feminizing men. They're butchering boys. Over the last 50 years, women have raised boys. Think about that. There's nothing wrong. In fact, it is natural for a woman to give birth and nurture those young children. But it is also natural for as those children age to be have an influence of a strong, sober, competent, feared male in their life. And he and I got to talking about that. So I asked him, I said, you divorced? He looked at me and I could just tell I'm going through a divorce at the moment. So kids involved? Well, yeah, a uh, stepkid and two other kids or something like that. I said, struggling with alcohol and right when i said that the light came on that dude knew this motherfucker knows what he's talking about and he said yes yeah I, and i could tell he, he that just stripped him all of everything and it and i wasn't stripping him of everything to make him feel bad i'm doing it i stripped him of everything so that he could feel vulnerable enough to talk to me so that we could make a connection and I could help and show him what I know. I obviously don't have the answers to everything, 
But on this particular problem, divorce involving cheering and depression, I am an expert. And I told him that because I wrote the book on it. And what I'm choosing to do with my life now is prove to these 20 plus men who off themselves every single day. These are men doing this. These aren't women doing this. These are men doing this at a rate of 20 plus per day. And it has to stop. We men, by our biological nature, we are very strong, we are very tough, and we can handle a lot of crap, but there is a line, there's a, a finite amount of bullshit that we can handle. And unfortunately, far too many young men, uh, many coming back from war, pointlessly coming back from war, listening because they did a bunch of things, a bunch of rich assholes wanted them to do, and they saw a bunch of things. And I'm not picking on the soldiers, but God dang, y'all been there. Y'all seen some shit that I ain't seen. I've probably seen some shit that you ain't seen. That's why I call myself a family court veteran. Yeah, I've never been on a battlefield. I can't imagine. I wouldn't want to be in the position that a lot of these soldiers went through, which is why I would like to create less of them and stop these ridiculous wars. All right, I'm not getting, I don't want to get in on my politics, but back to the story of this young man. This really moved me. It was it was so good to talk to this young man. I say young man. He's 38. He's a grown fucking man. I mean, he's entered middle age. He just happens to be eight years younger than me. And he asked me how much I weighed. Um, I'm six foot. I, I reckon he's about five nine or so. And I said, I told him my story. I got up to uh, 221 pounds. Told him my story of alcoholism, fighting it, and. Uh, going from 222 221 pounds down to 172 and i've gone up over a hundred over 200 again but at the moment i'm 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 balanced out right at around 178 and i i vary a few pounds you know depending on if i'm eating or food or not but anyway where was i oh yeah he just could not believe like could not believe that i was uh Okay, I had to double check, make sure y'all are here. Okay, good. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, he could not believe that I was 178. He he was he was he's like 178. No way. Uh, he he could I could tell he thought I weighed much more than that because I'm jacked and I'm really not. I've just lost most of my body fat. I'm finally down into officially single digit body fat. I don't have a there's different metrics tools formulas you can do to measure body fat i just i'm just eyeballing it but from my point of view i i've reached the point now where out of my peripheral vision i can see my shoulders and the gap for where my chest like i'm just i'm cut and i like it and as broke as i am a lot of middle-aged men my age go buy expensive toys i afford that but uh this is my new toy because you cannot imagine how fun it is to just be able to do this just raise up and yes this is real it's not a it's not plastic it's real i do have plastic titties <laughs> and I've, i'm planning on making a video a spoof uh, with that eventually just to have fun just to take a little jab but not there yet um one thing i would like to mention i did say i wasn't selling anything that's not entirely true sorta um i'm not being sponsored by any kind of protein bullshit drink any kind of weight this that and the other but however i did think ahead of time and if you would like to schedule a one-on-one hour-long session with me talk about your divorce talk about why alcohol is kicking your ass and why you just can't make up your mind to put the bottle down you want to pick my brain for an hour it'll cost you 85 bucks but there is a link in the description currently as i am live for those of you watching later if you would like to click on it the link is in the description 
So that being said, yeah, technically I kind of am selling my time a little bit. However, the reason I'm doing this is I, I, I didn't want to do this. I, I have always done this, but it was for free. And I've, I've really struggled with the maybe the morality part of setting up something for me to be able to talk to people and charge them money to do so because I've always just done it for free. And I've realized that uh, as I change, my needs change, my time is worth something. And I just simply can't get to everyone. I do talk to some family and friends, obviously, still for free. Um, and I, I would love to be in the position that I could not charge for this. My goal in the next couple of years is to do it, in fact, do that. Have my link set up to where whatever slots that I've got and if I somehow do the best I can to distribute the time to those who most need it. Because usually, and I've said this for years, if you're coming to me for help, family court help, that sort of thing, it's probably because you are flat busted broke and I get it. However, I also know my own limitations and I cannot just physically I, I can't keep up with everybody so this is just what i'm doing for me so anyways um i think i'm going to read a few comments for just a little bit that that was basically the gist i was just really excited and happy and appreciative of this young man who approached me and i, I really genuinely hope i see him again i really do because i know this i'm going to keep doing what i'm doing because i fucking love looking like this i i send pictures to my mama and my mama is proud of me my mama called me a hunk <laughs> oh you're just a hunk i sent a picture which is actually the cover of this video i sent that to my dad as well and uh my own dad <laughs> bless his heart can't remember exactly how he said it but Caleb you were just a big fat slob and now you're just a ripped beast and I'm proud of you or something like that in, in his own way <laughs> it was insulting but it that's I guess I get that's where I get it he he does he meant it well and I'm proud that and I'm happy and pleased that my father thinks that of me um not going to get into it uh, but uh for those of you who don't know, my father and I went about five years without speaking. It was a dark time in my life that reached the bottom. And recently, uh, we all made up. We all kissed and made up and hugged and everything is amazing and I'm happy. I like it when things come together. And well, I, I can't get off on that. I'm just, I'm just real happy things came together with my father and me. I, I really am. Just stick with it. Sometimes blood is poisonous, but sometimes what's wrong with you, what ails you, and why you're not getting where you want in life is many times, more times often than not, the problem is you. The problem, my problem was me. I made bad choices i chose to marry and make for cheering with a woman that i was not compatible with i chose to deal with the divorce with alcohol now obviously after i made my bad decisions to make four kids i can't unring that bell and i don't think what happened to me or especially my kids was deserved However, for my part, I have to own the parts that I screwed up with my own recover, or, uh, uh, making up with my own father. I had to own that. I'm not saying I was all wrong in all instances, but I'm simply choosing not to worry about his part because he and I have worked it out. So anyway, I'm just real happy when I hear story, other stories of people working things out it ab actually it literally makes my heart happy that's that, that's what I, I like to hear and i like those stories speaking of um i do want to hear your struggle stories in the comment section after after the live is over because 
for whatever reason all the live you can go back and watch them the comments later but there's a whole new set of comments once i get off the air and it's back on and i want to hear your stories there is an alternate ulterior motive to that yes that is a way that i get the algorithms up on my channel the more comments likes etc however at the same time it's a dual use because other people who follow my story they read other people's stories and it, it it's like a snowball effect it it helps so i want to hear from more people tell me your stories so anyway hello mr mazin alexandria is that alexandria louisiana kind of doubt it knowing you the world globe trotter that you are it's probably losing or alexandria i don't know but i was in alexandria louisiana about two weeks ago after my grandmother's funeral hello mr tory i'm out here grinding my ass off for two weeks 150 dollars allowance but soon things will change in 2024 good i hope so man i can't wait i'm happy for you thank you sir we're into hayes I have good things going. You have good things going for you. You have wisdom and experience, and now life is giving you back. Thank you so much, Miss Miranda. KMVS. Looking healthy, Caleb. That sex must have been amazing to put up with that psycho ex you had kids with. What can I say? He says I never have anything good to say. <laughs> yep, Frank Waltz. Yes, sir. Uh, seen that means yes, sir. Okay. Kelsey Brown, looking good, Caleb. Thank you, Kelsey Brown. Just Jennifer, are you going to be live more often? I'm trying. Just Jennifer, I really am trying. I've been traveling a lot, but I think I've I think I'm going to be here for a significant while. Um, it's it's looking that way. So. If in fact I am here, I am going to be changing some things up. Um, I think I'm going to do some more pre-recorded videos, uh, like for health. Um, I'm going to be go making videos about my diet, which is really very simple. Uh, high protein, stay within your macros. You can eat sugar and carbs and junk if you want up to a point. As long as you stay within your macros, don't go over your 25 or your whatever your cal caloric intake limit is. Don't go over it while maintaining your protein, sunlight, water. Anyway, I'm going to be making more of those videos and I'm looking forward to it. Really good to see you doing well, Just Jennifer. Thank you very much. Is your ex and the kids stepdad still together? Are you egotistical football dude? I cannot discuss that. I don't think he wants to hear from me. I talk too much. Okay, yeah, it did. It just froze up on me. Yep, I'm frozen. Frozen, frozen. What's your pro take intake per day? I'm for one gram per pound, so I'm taking 230 grams. Uh, yes, very good question, KMVS. Very good question. What Blaine taught me, and Blaine is my youngest son who's been bodybuilding for... I don't know, at least three years now. Uh, he's the one, he's 20. He's the one that taught me between half and one gram of protein per, per pound of desired body weight per day. Uh, it sounds a little convoluted, but it's really, the, it's not that hard. You can, 
an, an egg's got about six grams of protein. You just kind of memorize that stuff. Uh, an ounce of red steak's got, uh, I want to say, I used to know this stuff off the top of my head. I want to say six grams. Uh, well, I'm a little rusty at the moment. Anyway, uh, excellent question. Uh, my desired body weight at the moment is where I'm at, 175. So if I get to 175 grams of protein a day, that's perfect for me. At the moment, I'm not in a bulk. I'm just kind of breaking even. So about 2,500 uh, calories per day for me. If I want to bulk up, then I'll, I've, I've increased my caloric intake as high as 4,000, 4,500 in a day. Um, just ballparking it. But, you know, you will bulk up with muscle. But you'll also bulk up with fat. And then, so anyway, but if, if you're not taking, the point is, if you don't get protein, your daily recommended, you're not going to gain any muscle. That's just, it, it sounds like KMVS actually knows that. You will not gain muscle, significant muscle, without protein. Now, you can get protein from things outside of steaks and eggs and chicken. I get it. There's, I've done the vegan thing. I'm, I'm aware of it. It's not for me. Not by a long shot. But, you know, to each their own. All right. Dogs eat carrots. Dang, what a dilf. Thank you, dogs eat carrots. I am a, definitely a dilf now. Ha, <laughs> ha. Your son's advice is great. Thanks. Yeah, he's he's brilliant. Blaine is brilliant. He he I didn't know this stuff. He taught me in my I was 44 years old before I learned this stuff. Blaine is the one who taught me this. I'm real proud of him. <laughs> yep. Dead gummit Mazin, you broke my life. Uh, KMVS, if I'm in a hurry, I eat craft dinner with two cans of tuna after the gym. Hey, man, get the protein how you can. Obviously, the fresher, the better, but you get it how you can. I've, I've done it. Yeah, come on, Mazin, get her together, man. Lisa Werner, how did you deal with the need to please your father or win his approval? Did that go away when you reconciled? That is an excellent question. How did I deal with the need to please my father when his approval? Um, I always wanted it. I always sought it. I always was looking for it. I, and I never, in my mind, I never got it. It's probably what led to the, the disagreement in the first place. Did that ever go away when you reconciled? Yes. Yes, it did. Um, I have learned to accept my father exactly the way he is. My father's a good man. He struggled like everybody else. And he did the best he could while making mistakes and admitting he made mistakes. He did the best he could with what he had to work with at the time. To this very day, he stays, he keeps his, his mind active. He stays active discussing things that are out of his old, normal old uh, comfort zone. Uh, hell, I don't mind telling this story. I went and visited my parents uh, about a couple months ago for about a week in uh, Rudoso, New Mexico. And there's this uh, lake there, and I forgot the name of it, but it's the main lake. I want to say, now, to me, it wasn't very big. I mean, it's dammed up. I'd say, I don't know, 30, 40, 50 acre lake. It's not very big. To me, it's not very big, but. It was big enough you could people are in little small boats paddle boats uh, we were in kayaks and my father and i got to go out on the water and we got to discuss things that we've never really discussed uh, and i'm not going to go into what it was but yeah it went away that uh lisa it, it did it, I, f I feel whole with my father now uh he and i are good and it, it's a good feeling to be there. Excellent question. Thank you. Back in action. Hey, man. Good to see you back on the channel. Thanks, man. It's good to see you as well. Sienna Price. I use music, whether it's whether it be listening to it, composing, or singing, to deal with things. I bottle up my emotions and reject them or numb them because I feel uncomfortable with emotions. Yeah, emotions are, Sienna, emotions are very powerful. Um... Everybody deals with emotions in a different way. Some people cannot 
control their emotions at all. And those are usually the crazy people that we all see. Typically, men generally are able to control their emotions better, but we all know that far too many weak ass men exist in this world who cannot control their emotions and that is why you're we're getting what we're getting what we're seeing what they're seeing school shootings and people not knowing what gender they are I, i'm not going to get into i know there's always outliers I'm fully aware of the bell curve and I'm fully aware that the vast majority of us fall right in the middle as normal. The outliers are way over here, two, three derivatives out and they're on the same at the other end. I get that, but far too many men are not capable of controlling their emotions and we need to, you have to, you must control yourself. You wind up a father and you can't control your emotions and your daddy beat the shit out of you and looked at you you turned out just fine well if you're starting beating your kid because you can't control your emotions and you want to justify it with your bullshit religion by sparing the rod and spoiling the child if you don't have control of your emotions you are not in the position to teach discipline I never disciplined my children. I taught them self-discipline. I taught them how to wipe their own ass, their own asses. I taught them the, the consequences for behaving badly. And there's no need for me to ever hit my kids, even though, and, and back then I wasn't where I am today, but I just knew, just don't hit your fucking kids. And I'm glad I didn't. I don't regret not hitting my kids. Now, popping again popping a kid a three-year-old on the butt to you know get his attention to get him out of the road i have no problem with that that's not spanking to me that's mild discipline that's 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 teaching your child that's not what i'm talking about what i'm talking about when i talk about spanking kids is those motherfuckers that cannot control themselves and they they pull that fucking belt off and they 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 bend it over in half and they start beating 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 a child this you're teaching them i don't have control over myself and so therefore if you piss me off i will beat you into submission so you just teach them to live in fear and submit that is not what i taught my kids obviously um i got off a little bit of a tear there sienna but uh thanks for the comment uh, KMVSD your ex-wives behavior push your kids closer to you or make it harder to build a healthy relationship with them. Um, I cannot answer questions about what my what somebody else did. Um, I just I can't talk about that. Um, it's no secret that my daughter is not talking to me. I I do think she was alienated from me. That's my opinion. Um, but that's about as far as I can go about it. Talk about it. Mazin, hey, Caleb, watch who you talking to. Don't forget, you're still ducking and I'm still boxing. I'm still in the boxing ring waiting. Yep, I'm, I'm ready, man. I'm ready, Mazin. The boys, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's entirely true. See, Enterprise, I don't use drug or alcohol to numb my emotions. Good, good, good. Good. I do use healthy coping skills. Also good. But I use them to numb, reject, or run away from my emotions rather than sitting with them. Okay. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, work on if you're working on yourself, and you won't you won't uh, get any uh, you won't get any flack from me. Hello, Tammy. How are you doing? Santa Price deep breathing and meditation also help me too. I have a lot of musical instruments. Deep breaths is something that people who know me just a little bit hear me say a lot. Deep breathing is so incredibly simple, yet it is so incredibly overlooked. Deep breathing is as important as sunlight, is as important as water, is as important as um, just 
your your physical at lifting weights it is important and yet it's so easy far too many times we get so worked up so worked up so worked up and we're trying to deal with things and listen to things and do things and we wind up literally it sounds silly simply not breathing we hide that's called hyperventilating and so yes deep breathing is an excellent 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 way you you can meditate you can pray and deep breathe call it prayer call it meditation call it whatever you want quiet time focus on yourself taking very deep deliberate breaths is extremely extremely important yep deep from dan and yep deep breathing is essential especially for anxiety it sounds cliche dan but you're right it is deep breaths when you're when you find yourself talking to someone else who's just going and they did this shit to me to me and they did this and this and this and this and this and this and this happened and this happened and oh my god you say deep breaths and if they'll listen to you and they'll go <sighs> that's a great excellent starting point Um, how long have I been in? 36 minutes. Kitties, I think I'm going to call this a day. I've got some things that I've got to go get done. And um, yes, I am going to be putting out new content. I'm going to be trying to go live on a more regular basis. I'm going to give one more shout out to the plug for my... Uh, actually, you know what? Before I do that... Oop. What in the world? There was some serious back. Um, I'm not sure what I just did there. Give me just a second. Here, home, your channel. Okay, this is what I want to do as I leap. I meant to have this done sooner, and I apologize. I am about to get off. Um, present. Share screen. Share screen. And let's see if that's the right one. Yes, sir. Share screen. I want y'all to know again, one last time, if you were to come up there at the top, right over here where it says Instagram and my little Etsy, and there's a little sign there. That's my acuity. That is the link right there. If you are wanting to, if I'm not answering your question sufficiently and you would like to schedule a one-on-one -on -one with me, it will cost you 85 bucks. You click on this link right here. This link is also in the description of this current video. I'm just showing you on the desktop version right there. I don't think I know how to zoom into it, but anyway, it's just right there. If you want to do it, that's where it's at. And I will see y'all on the flip side take care bye consider not hitting your cheerings bye get jacked get ripped